Uh, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. Uh, sorry for like the uh, sporadic upload. I'm trying. I'm trying. But uh, I've been sick too, so I suggest not to get uh, what's that shit called? It was uh, they're called sulfur burps. But like I have sickle cell, so like the sulfur burps was like making me like throw up and stuff. Oh, that's the whole thing. Look it up. It's it's crazy. Anyway, this is Two Face reacts to Phase is finally making good decision. So I didn't, I didn't know your rage was in Phase, if he is in in uh Phase. But I guess we're gonna find out what's going on here. Let's go. Phase is finally the making phase just decisions. Took quick scope in and doing all that. Shit. What happened to Phase with the roots? Let's be honest. Whatever, whatever, how fallen off you think Phase is now, it'd be even worse. My that shit gets no traction. It's about entertaining your viewers. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna. Oh, it's low. I'm gonna say, what the hell's going on? What? Facts. 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 Bro, who is talking in this video? Is this the nigga talking or him talking? I'm not gonna lie. Facts. 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 It's about the content. It's about being entertained. And be yourself. Don't ever entertain nothing. If Bro, I'm so lost. Let's just go for this. I'm so lost. This nigga, I thought the nigga, I thought the video was the nigga. I'm sorry, y'all. What's the video? Phase is finally making good decisions. Um, I'm so lost. The phase just took the quick scope in and doing all, all right. This is phase. It's finally making good decisions. Okay. All right. There we go. The phase just took the quick scope in and doing all that shit. What happened to phase with the roots? Let's be honest. Whatever, whatever how falling off you think phase is now, it'd be even worse. Uh, no, my girl, my girl at work, bro. My, that shit gets no traction. It's about entertaining your viewers at the end of the day. I'm not gonna lie to you, your age. Uh, I wholeheartedly. Oh, you thought the talking in the background with somebody in my room? That's, bro, the video's all over the place, man. <laughs> Agree with everything that you're saying and to be honest with you it's a lot of the reason why we saw a lot of these esports companies go under what's going on everybody let's get into the real meat and potatoes as to why phase is going through this rebrand and they're doing something that i actually like with this one because they're bringing the content new age content back to the platform under their big name that they have so if you've been living under a rock or maybe you just don't follow the phase page in general the phase clan page hit control alt delete in a tweet and they had this little cryptic computer glitchy graphic on their screen and people were wondering what that meant but we got clarification really really fast when phase banks put out a tweet of all these names and follows that up with saying everyone else is out that is the roster now that left a lot of people thinking well what's going on right here because honestly there's a lot of names that we know we love and they are just not gonna make the cut is phase going in a whole different direction what does this really mean for the future of phase clan you know just a phase name in general and especially because this is coming off of the heels of phase banks earlier in the month saying that that they fired a shit ton of people people really want to know what's going on here aren't you getting rid of a bunch of like actual video game creators it's about getting back to the core value of it yeah. then wouldn't it be about keeping video game creators we're cutting all kinds of people we had something like 140 employees this time last year i think we have 30 right now i want to cut that down even further to like 10 that as long as the what? brand is as long as the people who are a part of the brand you know that roster of 10 remember, people dude. are all on the same page have the same gone. focus have the same vision and are incentivized the right way Phase is an OG staple in the game, so to hear that they're going through this turmoil is very, very disheartening. But I think it's for a good cause because we know once they went corporate, things started to go totally left and people were very dissatisfied with what happened. Phase Bank said in a tweet, my shares were legitimately stolen from me. I was written out of the company, stripped, stolen. My shares weren't reissued, reinstated for over seven years and only ultimately were because they had to be for them to take it public. I've never had a say, a vote, any sort of actual real control. I have 
have never sold a share or profited from this brand outside of a working class salary. I'd be able to suck it up if I made a poor decision and sold. That simply isn't the case. Shit was literally stolen from me. And as we see a lot of these brands becoming more legitimate, these young content creators rising up from the ranks of just creating content to coming into the corporate sphere, I think that they can learn a lot from the phase issues and stuff that they went to. Not going corporate and having them take names and take rights. Bro, I got a DJ tonight, so I can't do none of that shit. We're seeing Kai Sinat agent and some of the other AMP people start to deal with all these other companies, but they're still maintaining who they are in control of not only their content, but ultimately their name. And they don't have to do a bunch of corny gimmicks in order to satisfy the company. Like us paying members to put. So wait, FaZe went corporate? I mean, I knew like all these clans and stuff went, they, you know, they had to, they have people backing them, but I didn't know like FaZe went full on business. What the fuck did they do? They're just a fucking bunch of niggas living in a house. Like, how do you run a business like that? Like, what are you monetizing off everybody's shit? And then he just said that, uh, that everybody who's, uh, content creators, they got rid of. So I'm lost even more now. Put phase in their name, having that be the relationship. Like, that doesn't work. I want no part of that. It doesn't do anything for either side. We're not red bull bro we're not like you know what i mean we're not trying to rain, slap our rain logo and talk a lot about this it's very true what he's saying is absolutely true because at the end of the day it becomes inauthentic there's no real relationship no rhyme or reason why these people would have this name here other than simply a cash grab and if the whole point of this young new creator sphere the whole new generation that's coming up is authenticity you're only gonna hurt your name and your brand when you start to slap your name on people because it'll make you cooler or whatever the case may be i had a lot of questions when the Bronny james thing came along but you know i was killed for that one i can only imagine a world in which amp or rdc or even ssb because i saw aiden ross looking for new members started to just reach out to a bunch of people in a bunch of different places and space that had nothing to do with them but because they have a name this other person has a name we feel as if we can take ownership of you or get creative control or just slap our logo right here we can sort of build our brand and our identity it doesn't work out in the long run people get dissatisfied and then ultimately you just paid a guy or a girl to put a label on their content and you got nothing out of it in return all those people fucking crying about sniping and shit i understand this shit is fun to me but apparently other people don't fucking think so and you don't either because you're in the comments fucking crying when was the last time you watched a fucking quickscope montage you don't give a fuck and what your rage is saying is absolutely true quickscoping montages came up the era of the machinima days or you know mw2 cod4 lobbies etc etc but that was literally a decade ago there's no way that people think that a brand can sustain itself over a decade worth of doing the same exact content and to be that's that's true and on top of that like that's like my generation of shit like bro if i could show you how many fucking frag sticky videos on my old xbox i made and shit not knowing how to upload that shit you'll be fucking surprised like so many folks used to do that shit back then but if you found the way you blew up off that shit Quite frank, esports didn't take off in the US like people thought it would. We thought it would be like some of the more countries on the East that esports is a real thing that they take seriously, but especially during around the pandemic time when people were really dipping their toe into the esports environment, it just did not stick in America like people thought it would. People like football, people like basketball, people like other sports that you know, require some actual hitting, but the schools weren't adopting it, the parents weren't really getting behind it either, and after a certain amount of time, the kids found out that hey i am better off making iro content or making stuff like rp content as opposed to being the best on the leaderboard in a cod lobby that just does but who who made it like that like so many people are sweats now bro you can't even play destiny multiplayer no more without it being a super fucking sweat bro like a super sweat in that bitch going crazy and it's just like bro i'm a destiny sweat I'm gonna let you know, I used to be in the, the sweaty sweat, but fucking PvP, oh, I sweat my ass off in a raid, I go crazy in a dungeon, like, all the cool other shit Destiny offer, oh yeah, that's me, all day long, but like, PvP, I love PvP, but it's like, so many folks fucking ruin that shit for me, and that's any shooter game now any shooter game that's one of the reasons i like division because division you can just chill bro 
You ain't got to worry. I mean, you got to worry about other folks when you go into the darkness zones, but you ain't even got to do that. You can avoid that forever. You know what I'm saying? But if you play duty, it's a sweat on. It's something, bro. You, no matter what your rank is, it's always niggas in there being super try hard, streaming. Like, I seen somewhere where, like, the Black Hokage was, like, doing, like, uh, it was reading off, uh, damn, what was, what was it? Hot takes. And so, it's just, like, mo in multiplayer games aren't fun for, like, the regular daggler people anymore. Or even people who make content who chill, though, who aren't, like, sweaty, who just want to get on there and vibe with the bros, like, like, my little brother and them, they're the best Call of Duty players I've ever seen in my life. But they've been playing since they was, like, I, fuck. I'm six years older than them, seven years older than the youngest. So it's just, like, I'll put them on Call of Duty. And, like, they are, like, gods at Call of Duty now just because they've been playing it for so long. But they're sweats. And, like, if you fuck up, they will kick you out their damn team. If you don't. If you don't go ham or get like over certain kids, they, you off you off the team, and it's like I cannot play like that. Like I can't fuck with that. Even when I play with them, bro, I feel like I gotta sweat, bro. It's just it's <laughs> it's just crazy how like these young niggas are like with these gaming shit. Don't get me started on like stuff like Fortnite or fucking Warzone or PUBG. PUBG is my shit. Oh, if I can, uh, I still got some of those videos where I would get chicken dinners doesn't make sense so now you have to move on to different things go the irl route i don't even know motherfucker that they just signed but dude he is huge chat if you look at viewership now on kick and twitch and whatnot that irl streaming stuff man that's what's popping right now it's like yeah all of us are in here and we like call of duty we like apex we like halo you know we do all that like bro we're gamers right but like this surge of irl just in your face content and that's what a lot of these people are watching man like with kai Sinet and jinxie and these guys at the forefront i I think that a lot of these dudes are going to continue to push live streaming. And it's a good thing that Nick Merckx mentioned these guys because we're seeing in real time a renaissance of not only content creation, but just the new celebrity class coming from the streaming world. We just saw Sketch on the NFL draft announcing a draft pick, taking over, and him through March Madness and all these other things where players are quoting him and what's up, brother, going crazy because they know his name. That's what the new generation is connected to. We see how Kai Sinat is taking over brands like Nike. He's at the All-Star Week. And he is literally a massive icon and a massive figure. The streaming world is not just the Aiden Rosses and the Neons, although they are big contributors, which I thought I would never say. The streaming world consists of these guys too. And I think it's very interesting because, like I said, gaming has not stuck. Yeah, you have a Dr. Disrespect who did definitely have a moment, and I will say he is a big figure, but there's a whole nother world that you have to take over. Same thing with Ninja. Ninja came, he conquered, and then Ninja's kind of gone. He doesn't have the same effect as a Kaisenat. He doesn't have the same effect as a Jinxie. He doesn't have the same effect as a Sketch. So you have to embrace change in order for you to continue to grow and to continue to succeed. But see, when you talk about bringing in the new, you also have to talk about kicking out the old. And I think that's where a lot of people in this conversation are really upset with some of the FaZe members is because you're gonna see a lot of the notable faces get kicked out for something new. And that's where we insert somebody like Blaze. Lucas's content is the furthest thing from like how we want FaZe represented. I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. 99.9% of content on the internet we don't like it doesn't belong with phase i haven't talked to lucas on the phone in fucking years bro we're old and fucking washed up you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> we're on the shit you're on 10 years ago you know what i'm saying like now phase banks has a good point and phase it can blaze it can kind of only has not only himself but honestly growth to blame for that because at the end of the day you're going to grow up and grow apart although you are a big part of what started this group even he can acknowledge that things are just different nowadays i think the main reason why i'm not sad about not being in phase anymore is because this phase that exists today is not the phase that I fell in love with. I can be extremely proud that I was a part of the greatest era of phase. I would be. I ain't seen this nigga face in so long, bro. God damn happy to be proven wrong but i personally believe there will never be a better era of phase it was not for the money we did it because we love to do it we love call of duty we love trick shotting and we love the brand phase now if this phase of phase changing doesn't phase you like it does phase the others then that's okay and i would wholeheartedly applaud you because you know when you have outgrown things but there are some other people out there who cannot get on the same wavelength as you phase again blaze again and they decided to say that it's not all love and bash the whole phase community because of what happened I 
I got kicked from face. I'm gonna make a YouTube video because it is not all love. It's really hard to be a content creator who had so much love and passion for this team and didn't get a dime from them and still got handed to a shit end to them at the end of the day. This is my problem with the entitlement of the new creator, the younger creator. Sometimes these opportunities present you with the chance to future-proof yourself. And what I mean by that is you have the opportunity to set yourself up for future success in whatever brand that you make. Don't rely on just the phase name. You were supposed to take that, run with that, and make yourself somebody. You got a greater head start than a lot of people in their streaming career. You got panels, you got t-shirts, you got extra special events, and that was the possibility for you to tell the world who you are, why you belong, and why they should follow you. But you didn't take the chance or the opportunity to do that. Or maybe you did it in a little way. But at the end of the day, all good things do come to an end. So all these bitter people in the comment section and the tweets and all this other stuff like that i honestly have no sympathy for those creators that get some sort of artificial boost and then they did not do what they needed to do in order to make themselves last longer or continue with that audience we'll see where a lot of these phase creators go from here but as far as i can see it's time for your rage it's time for max it's time for those different types of content creators to get their shine with a bigger name and if phase wants to continue to go on no they cannot have the bland Betty's making content under their name. It's just not going to work. Personally, I believe what's going on with the new additions and subtractions from Faith is a good thing in the long term for the con. I think that's still fucked up though. Like, you don't see RDC World kicking out people who, you know what I'm saying? That's like RDC kicking out John or fucking God forbid Leland, which that'll never happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like Mark kicking out fucking. <clears throat> What's homie with the dreads? I keep forgetting his name, bro. Uh, fuck. But anyway, uh, like you don't see it. Phase was like the first fucking like you know clan like that, like RDC, AMP. Like I I get what they're doing, but it's just like you you're set you're going behind your brother's backs. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, y'all can grow up and grow apart. But if y'all created something, I feel like they should still be there. Like, it wasn't just a singular person's idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all came together and did all that. And no, y'all don't have to keep doing 360 no-scope montages. But, like, just shift the direction. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. That's like AMP kicking out fucking agent or duke you know what i'm saying like that's just i just don't see that happening like phase is fucked up for that maybe they shouldn't have went corporate i don't know like i feel like they should have just stuck to what they was doing and everybody grow together but it's just like with phase i always saw like whoever was the most popular they was getting all the juice instead of like something like amp like the most popular is still like throwing bread and stuff not throwing money but like like you know <clears throat> still doing content with all the other creators and like bringing them along and doing stuff with each other going out as a group being a unit when you go to twitchcon and stuff and see them you may see one or two of them a phase together like it'd be like separate phase niggas walking around with other phase niggas, you know what I'm saying? They was never there as a collective, you know what I'm saying? You will never see that at DreamCon with like RDC, AMP. You'll never see that, or like the people that run with um, Aiden Ross, shit like that. I don't know. It's just you don't go. I don't know. You don't turn your back against your bros. That's I, that's just my thing content creation sphere and the brand if you're not willing to change your content or grow or build something new or different then that's on you i don't know if content creation is a long-term career because at the end of the day a lot of these people that we're talking about are in their teens 20s and early 30s you have a long life left to live and if you can't take that moment or that boost that they have given you and maximize what you have from it then that's totally on you i don't have sympathy for these people that thought they could do trick shots for the next 10 15 20 years we don't even play video games in the same fashion as we did back then so why you thought that would last i have no clue you don't have Shit. a personality outside of the sticks that's on you you should have grew one or you should have known hey this is a limited time offer i am going to build up what i can get what i can get out of it and keep it pushing but let me know what you guys think because man i'm excited for the new face chapter i want to say i'm excited
but what the fuck pause i want to say i'm excited for the new space chapter but with that being said uh you do have to grow you always have to grow but i i don't think they should have turned their backs on the bros turn your back on the bros i don't know that's just like an unwritten rule bro so if y'all build something and created some phenomenal as space that's i don't know but maybe i'm tripping maybe i'm the only one i don't know tell me what y'all think in the comments like comment subscribe it's your boy lunar i am out